Hello everyone, today I want to show you my kindergarten math binder. And this is an interactive binder which helps children master skills that are needed to be learned for math in kindergarten. But uh, kids in preschool, kindergarten and first grade can use this. I created this for one of my students who finished early her kindergarten curriculum for kindergarten and I wanted her to have something to do uh, for the rest of the year. So this folder helps her um, master all of the basic skills that need to be learned in kindergarten for math. Um, it creates fluency and also it has a lot of material that is going to be covered in first grade so it gives the child a head start to first grade. So it's a great little binder and it progressively gets harder, starts off really easy. Um, the child starts counting, one, two, three, four, five. Everything is matching here with Velcro which is, makes it really fun for the kids. So you would take them off and then the child would, would match. One, two, two. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. And this is just a bit really basic. It starts off with counting. It starts getting into more counting with larger numbers. Um, so the child really needs to focus on those counting skills. Um, here I have another activity which is light and heavy, sorting light and heavy. So here we have like a feather or a whale, a leaf, or a fridge. The child needs to be able to sort these items out. Again, everything is Velcro. Here is sorting geometric shapes. Um, again, you would lay out all the pieces and the child would sort these according to the geometric shape. Find the missing number. So, the chart would start off with missing numbers, just like this. And then the child will need to find it by counting. One, two, what comes next? Three, four, five. The child goes on and on, completing all of the math filling in the missing numbers. I also have the numbers that come before because children t tend to have difficulty with the numbers that come before. So I wanted to include that there as well. And I have num up to number 49 with the find the missing number. Then I have uh, these uh, graphs with the children need to count um, how many. So how many bananas are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five bananas. How many lemons are there? One, two, three, four, four lemons. How many pineapples are there? Three pineapples. And how many fruit are there all together? And that would be 12. So this is great for uh, reading comprehension and following directions. And some of these look very similar, like how many koalas are there? So these are the koalas, and then these are the hippos, and the child needs to find them. So they got progressively harder. Um, and the child really needs to look, use their visual discrimination to count and get the, the, the exact amount here. How many hands and legs are all together? Now they have to count how many legs and hands are all together. So this is great for problem solving. No. Okay, and the next one is patterns. And so the child, the patterns start off easy at first. A, B, A, B. B, key. B, key. B, key. Frog, frog, ball. Frog, frog, ball. The child will go on and on, and they get progressively harder. Um, once you go to the next page of patterns, um, you go into the AABB, the ABC patterns. Uh, ABC patterns again, so they get harder as the child progresses. This is sort the fractions by whole, one half, and one fourth, um, which are the basic fractions that you want to start off with and the child again you would lay out the pieces and they would sort the fractions. Here is skip counting by twos so we have skip counting so you you take all the numbers off and have them um, skip count. So we have skip counting by twos, skip counting by fives, and skip counting by tens which are the basic ones you need to learn for kindergarten. Then we have um, sorting the coins and it starts off easy because the child um, would match 
you know, the pennies with the pennies and the nickels with the nickels. Um, but as you can see, I also have different shades of the coins and I have front and back of the coin. So the child is really learning the coin and what the coin looks like. And I also have realistic pictures of the coins. When the child has mastered this, they move on to the matching the coins to the amounts. So this is the next step. And they would use the same cutouts that you have here to match. Um, so that's just a second level of difficulty here for these mats. We have the same thing for the dime and the quarter. Starts off easy. They just match the dime and the quarter. Um, again, front and backs, different shades, light and dark. And then they would match to the actual amount. So this is the second step that is um, next. Then I have coin combinations. These are basic coin combinations. And the child would count the coins and just place them next to the quantities. Here I have which one has less, which one has more. So the child would compare three apples and one apple. Which one has less? This one has less. Which one has less from these two quantities? This one has less. Put a check mark. Which one has less? And at first it's very um, visual so they can see that this is less, that this is less, that this is less. But when you get to the next pages, um, you really have to count. As you can see here, you really have to, you can't just tell by looking at the picture. You really have to count and uh, focus to be able to get the answer. We have place value. Again, matching again. Um, we also have telling time by the hour. And we have uh, telling time by the half an hour as well, which just becomes a little bit more difficult as the child really has to focus on looking at the long hand and short hand. Then we have counting on. These are addition problems. So the child will count on, which is a, an addition um, strategy that you want to use for children who's who are learning addition. Two plus two more. We count on. So two, three, four. Four. We'll count on. Five, six. Six. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Three, four, five. So this is good addition practice um, for the kids. Then we have doubles addition. This is one, one of the things that you want to start off with. Before going into um, <clears throat> first grade, you want them to memorize these doubles. So it's just something that they need to memorize. Um, you can use counters um, to do these problems as well. And lastly, we have count the tally marks. And uh, the child will do just that. They count and they place the... And as you can see, it gets to the higher amount and the children would count by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25. And that is my kindergarten folder. Those are all the mats. There's 34 activities in total. Um, I love this folder, again, because it really focuses on all of the basic math concepts that need to be learned in kindergarten, and it's in a fun, interactive way. Um, this folder, kids love doing it. Um, it's colorful. It's really something that grabs their attention. It works great with special needs children. So if you have special needs children, this is something that you can set up with a paraprofessional or in a, in a center for them so they can do independent work. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and show my kindergarten student working on this so you can see a little bit of how she goes and she does this. Um, if you would like to get a copy of this, I will link it below in the description box. I'm actually going to have it um, half off this until this weekend, <clears throat> running towards this weekend. It's going to be 50% off for you guys. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'm also going to link below my toddler learning folder, if you guys haven't seen that, and my preschool learning folders as well. I have toddler learning folder, preschool learning folders, and now I'm, I'm working on these kindergarten binders. And um, my kids are absolutely loving these, and I'm so excited to be able to, to share this with you guys. All right, let me bring my uh, kindergartner in here to show some of the work. Hello, Iris. Hi. So here's Iris, and she's working on the first sheet just to demonstrate here. Iris, you want to start off by counting the penguins over there? Five. The child would just match. This is something that they can do independently. Let's do the next one. One, two, three. And you can focus on doing Four. just a couple of these a day. One, two, three. 
One, two, three, four. Four, okay. And what I like about this is that you can continue doing these over and over to work on a particular skill that your child needs to work on. So that's what I like about these. Go ahead and go count the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay, good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, we're seven. <laughs> and let's count the teddy bears last. One, two. One, okay, two. go ahead and put it there. Okay, so here's Iris working on the geometric shape sorting. Iris, can you go ahead and tell me the names of these geometric shapes over here? What's this called? Cone, sphere, cube, pyramid. Okay, go ahead and sort these out. You're going to look closely at these shapes to make sure that they are the geometric shape that it corresponds to. Okay, so here's Iris, skip counting by fives. Fi skip counting by fives is a very important skill to learn in kindergarten because you're going to be using that for so many other different math concepts um, as you progress into mathematics, such as counting tally marks, multiplication, addition, everything. You're going to be using skip counting for so many different things. Iris, you want to go ahead and start? They already have the five there for you. What comes next? Five? Five, ten. Ten. Okay, go to ten. Find the ten. What comes next? Uh-huh. Where's 15? So this is another uh, great thing because it's good for number recognition. They have to know what the 15 looks like. What number is that? That's 50. 15. What does 15 look like? There you go, 15. So sometimes they confuse it with the 51. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. Where's 20? Yes. What comes next? 5. Where's 25? There you go. 